the second part of the squatting outside the BOSU ball. And the last time I showed you, it was a full squat, landing on two legs in the bullseye of the BOSU ball. This time, we're going to step it up. If you've mastered the last squatting up on top of the BOSU ball and back down, then you can try to land on one foot on top of the BOSU ball. Now this not only is difficult, but if you can do it, it's really going to help with your balance and your core strength. Um, like I said, again, volleyball is a, is a special sport. You're not just running up and down a court and going you know, in one plane at a time. You're constantly moving, you're rolling, you're diving. I was a setter. So I've gone, you know, I've set from down here before, off balance, and it really does help with your balance. And the leg strength is key. So not only do you need upper body strength for volleyball, but key factors are the core and your legs, which will help you jump, and your shoulders will help you hit the ball really hard, which we all like. Even setters like to hit too. And also with your blocking, if you have a strong core, you're going to be able to use that strength to suck in and you're going to be able to take the impact of the ball and shove it right back down in your opponent's face, which I always like to do that. That's my favorite. So this time what I'm going to do is show you how to land on top of the ball with one foot and you're going to alternate feet. So first, you're going to start in the position, the squat position. Remember to have the chin up. You want to keep your back straight, and your knees are not going past your toes. You want to make sure your butt is straight up. So we're not going to use any extra weight right now, and that's my bird Chester. Hope he's not bothering you. But we're going to go up on the ball, land on one foot. If you need to catch yourself, Definitely use your toe to help you. Then you're going to go back and land on the left foot. Catch yourself before you go down to the next level. So go back down, squat, back up. Make sure you're balanced before you go back down to the squat. Up. I'm not using a mirror, so it's a little harder. But you're going to squat, go land on the ball. Definitely make sure you balance before you go back to the squat because you want to engage the core muscles. Now you can add weight. You can use a balance ball or medicine ball. This is eight pounds. You can add a medicine ball. You don't have to. It's a lot harder if you add the medicine ball. See? But it will definitely increase your leg strength. So you can use the medicine ball as you get better. And you can keep adding weight. Uh, I probably wouldn't go past 10 pounds. But if you can, get up to 10. That would be a great exercise for your legs, your core, your back, your butt. And again, the inside of your thigh muscles, which really don't get a lot of work. So that's a really good exercise overall. Have fun.